Here we have the URL of our Desert Writers Guild blog. It's you can type that into your browser's window and hit enter and this is what you get. Now you'll notice that we have these pages already existing on the site. Home, About Us, Events, Our Writers, The Anthology. Here are recent posts which are different from pages that belong to the site. Things that members, mostly me I think, maybe a little bit of Marilyn have put in the site here. If you want to make a post of your own, you have to go over here and log in. Click on the login button and click it and type in your username and password. I've sent you uh, your usernames and passwords and if you want to remember your site to remember you the next time, click on remember me and then log in. Now we see the dashboard. Here on the different sections of the dashboard, you'll see the different links for post pages, media, comments, and so on. And on the main page itself, you'll see uh, the posts that we have, the activity of recent published comments, and the place for a quick draft when you want to write your own post. And here are some recent comments that people have made. Now you all are editors, every member here is an editor, which means that you can publish posts, publish pages, upload files, edit pages, edit publish posts, delete pages, delete posts, moderate comments, manage links, and so on. If you want to learn about the roles of an editor, here's the site to go to. Here are all the editors that are currently members of the site. Making your first post. Okay, use the quick draft page. Type in a title for your post what's on my mind. Tab down to the box where you type in the content of your post. Click on the what's on my mind. You'll see the post in the edit window and there it is. Now if you want to publish it, click on the publish button over there and you'll get the post and when it says view post you will see that the post has appeared on the home page of our blog. What's on my mind? Who knows? Now, the other way to make a post, called a slow way, is to click on posts and then add new. And then you'll get the post window, which you've seen before, the same as before. Type in your title, what's new, tab down to the content part of the post, Type in your post and click publish over here on the right. Now you can view the post the same as before. And if you want to add an image, here's what you do. You want to take the post that you've already made and you want to add a picture to it. Click on post, all posts. And then you'll click on the last one we made, which is called Edit. And then you click on Edit. Here's the post that we, we created. Now you want to add a picture. Add Media is the little button there. You click on that. And here are the various pictures that we already have uploaded to the site. Here you can upload a new picture or you can use the Media Library. So click on Media Library and select a picture that you want to post from all these here. I like this one. Click on this and then click on Insert into Post down there on the lower right. And there it is. So there's the picture. We can update over here with the button on the right. And then you can click on view post as you've done before or go to look at the site itself click on visit site up here in the upper left there's the post now you want to edit it click on edit and you click on the image if you notice you click on the picture and you see that little boxes appear up on the t above it that aligns the picture to the text you can get it on the left you can get the picture in right, or you can get the picture aligned right there. Okay, 
So now let's say we like that. So we're going to go over here to update and update the post. Now go ahead and check on the post again to see what it looks like. Click on view post. And scroll down and there is the picture. Now we're going to, we can resize the picture as well. See those little black boxes that pop up when the mouse moves over it? You can drag those up and any direction you want to change the dimensions of the picture. Notice that it will only change proportionally. You can't squish it or, 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 or stretch it. But there are, there are settings for that which we'll talk about some other time. Anyway, so let's get the picture where we want it. And you click over here on update again. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Click on it. Get the picture the size we want it. Click on update. And scroll down to the, see the post. And there it is, a little bigger. Now, let's upload an image from the computer. We have um, media. We're going to go to the library. And we see all the pictures that currently exist in the library, but we want to do what? We want to add a new one. So we can drop files anywhere to upload or select files. So let's open a window from our own computer. We'll find a picture that we want to add to our library. Let's pick this one, drag it into that little box there, and you see down here on the left the picture is uploading right there and boom there it is okay let's add another one we'll grab another one from this image library here that's on my computer pick this one and again drag it into that little box and you see now it's uploading okay so you now you see all the new pictures in the library Let's say you have a picture from the web you want to upload. You can browse around and find a picture. I went to uh, a, a website called Google Images, which is right here, and I wanted to get something that was for writers. So I picked, let's pick a stack of books here. So we click on that, and you right, to enlarge it, you right click on the image, come in here into the picture itself, right click, and copy image location click on that now we go back to the library and select files then you'll see that the little window opens up where you can type in the location of the file you just selected click on upload and you'll see it's uploading over here on the left and boom there it is. Now we have a new picture in the library. You've got to be careful about things like copyright and borrowing people's images and they may not like it. But that allows you to, you know, pick up a royalty-free image or an image from your own website and like that. Okay, that's it for this one. We will have part two, which will involve creating your own pages and putting content into your own pages and so on and so forth for the next one.